So for those of you who've never seen a koala close up, we're going to give you a bit of a tour on koalas here with George's help and cooperation. So this is George. George is a boy koala and one of the ways we can tell is by the scent gland on his chest here. You can see this dirty, dirty patch. That's where he rubs that uh, against the trees to let others know that this is his territory. So if you're a boy, stay away. If you're a girl, welcome in. What else can we show you? Koala's claws. Okay, so here's some claws, koala claws. And as you can see, koalas have a double thumb. So two thumbs and three fingers and very sharp claws. And they are sharp, believe me. So on the other end, however, if he'll let me do this because he has ticklish feet. Oh, maybe not. Um, you can, we'll try and aim over there. You can see koalas have two toes. <laughs> Sit still, George. Okay, just, just, just put your foot there. All right, thank you. Two toes joined together there, but two separate claws. That's their grooming claw. And then they have two separate ones. And yeah, we'll look at your foot from that way then. And then as you can see, he has a nubby little thumb. That acts as a bit of like a sucker when they're on the trees, helps give them um, grip. This is George's nose, which he's liking to show you. No, he's just wanting to come over here for some different leaf. Well, it's actually the same leaf. Um, so they have this lovely big leathery nose, although it doesn't feel like leather, it feel, feels very soft. Um, and they have an incredible sense of smell. Because their eyesight, as you can see they've got littleish eyes, um, is quite poor. So they rely a lot on their nose. Um, what else can we tell you about them? Their fur, koala fur, is very thick and woolly and soft, um, which protects them not only from the cold, but also the heat. Uh, and it also acts as a raincoat and, and repels water when, it, um, when it's really rainy. Uh, doesn't get into the under fur, so they stay nice and dry underneath. And these lovely fluffy ears, lovely fluffy ears. There is a really quite small, but they look huge because they've got these beautiful fluffy tufts in them. So the hearing is also quite good. You can see they use their hands for gripping. And you can see how having a double thumb would help when they're coming up a tree. It gives them more grip because they'd have two on one side and three on the other, which makes the grip stronger. He's certainly enjoying his leaf. So that's koalas. The girls, by the way, um, this lovely white bib here is just pure white. They don't have a scent gland. Um, obviously, it's just lovely and white. So that's how if you're from a distance and you get a look at a chest, you'll be able to tell if it's a boy or a girl. The girls do tend to have fluffier, rounder faces and the boys is more long. Um, but they're all gorgeous, whatever shape their face is. So thank you, George, for your cooperation in our tutorial for the day. And um, I'll leave you to keep munching.